Welcome back to our gardening and farming channel. Today, we're diving into an essential topic for plant health and productivity, the potassium cycle. Understanding this cycle is crucial for gardeners and farmers alike, as potassium plays a vital role in plant growth, development, and stress tolerance. Let's explore the basic steps of the potassium cycle and how it impacts our plants and ecosystems. The potassium cycle begins with weathering, where rocks and minerals in the Earth's crust release potassium ions K into the soil. Plants then absorb these potassium ions through their roots, utilizing them for essential biological processes like photosynthesis and water regulation. When plants die, the potassium is returned to the soil through decomposition, making it available once again for uptake by other plants. However, potassium can be lost from soil through leaching and erosion. Leaching occurs when water carries potassium ions deeper into the soil, making them less accessible to plants. Erosion happens when soil is washed away by water or wind, taking potassium ions with it. But there's more. Potassium can also be released from organic matter in the soil through a process called mineralization where microbes break down organic material and release nutrients into the soil. And let's not forget about atmospheric exchange. Potassium can be exchanged between the soil and atmosphere through a process called dust deposition. Windblown dust carries potassium ions, which can be deposited onto soil surfaces and taken up by plants. Understanding the potassium cycle is critical for managing soil fertility and optimizing plant growth. Farmers can make informed decisions by analyzing soil tests and applying potassium-rich fertilizers if needed. Conservation practices can also help reduce erosion and leaching, preserving potassium in the soil. Gardeners, too, can benefit from this knowledge. By enriching soil with organic amendments like compost or manure, they can increase potassium levels naturally. Selecting appropriate plants and using potassium-rich fertilizers when necessary can also promote healthy growth. By carefully managing soil fertility and nutrient levels, gardeners and farmers can optimize plant health, reduce nutrient runoff, and maintain vibrant, productive ecosystems. That concludes our exploration of the potassium cycle. Remember, a solid understanding of this cycle empowers us to create healthier plants and a more sustainable future. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gardening and farming insights.